Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to lower or speed up the engine speed on your lawnmower with a Kohler engine like this. This is a Kohler Courage XT6 engine. Now your Kohler engine may not be specifically like this one, but if it looks the same, it's going to be the same procedure. Now just to give you some quick specs, usually I leave the RPM on the lawnmower at approximately 3000 to 3200. And to do that you need a tachometer, it doesn't have to be like this one, but as long as it takes the reading. Today you're also going to need a pair of vice grips and some pliers. I'll just start up the lawnmower quickly just to show you that the engine RPMs are a bit low. As you saw the number was under 3000 here it's reading 2300. So on this lawnmower here what I need to do is speed up the RPMs and all you need to do this today is a pair of pliers like this. Now all you need to do is go where the governor spring is, it's right here. You can see here that the spring is attached to a metal plate with a small hole. Now in this case because the engine is spinning too slowly, I'm going to pry up the metal plate with the spring. What that's going to do is put more tension on the spring and allow the engine to have more RPMs. Now I've only pried it up slightly, maybe one eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to start it up again and check the RPMs. Now if you do as I just did over here with the vice grips, be extremely careful that you do not get your feet caught underneath. And here's my last reading, 3,189 RPMs, I'm going to leave it where it is. And you can see that made a substantial improvement in the RPMs and it's going to cut grass a lot easier now. Now some people may prefer to leave their engines rev a bit slower and that's perfectly fine as well. And if you accidentally pry it up too high and it's revving too much, then you just come back and pry it down and check the RPMs after that. It's not rocket science doing this, but you do not want the engine to over rev as well. Do not set your RPMs over 3200 because you could cause damage to your engine, for example, blow the connecting rod, and then your engine is pretty well done. And in some cases, if your spring is stretched or damaged, just replace the spring. What happens over time is the spring gets weak and it causes your engine not to rev as much. That's why it's good from time to time to check the RPMs of your lawnmower if you feel it's spinning too slow. Hopefully this video will help you to repair your own lawnmower. You can always bookmark the video to come back at a later time. Also make sure to subscribe and like my videos and tell all your friends about them. Have a great day.